Well, I don't know. What, I don't know what to start on this BS kind of crap. That really, as you all know, Miles Garrett still suspended indefinitely. Uh, Marquise Pouncey, uh, his suspension reduced to two games. Larry um, Ochocobini, whatever, I can't pronounce his last name. He's still spent for a game. But here's my take on this thing. Um, both Mason Rudolph and Miles Garrett are... My, uh, Mason Rudolph is the instigator. I mean, he, he, already, he already wants to start getting grabby on his helmet. Miles Garrett... Here, Mason Rudolph failed... Is they both got grabbed, all right? This just Miles Garrett, you know, won the grabbing helmet war, and and if this fight Miles Garrett still getting restrained by that Pittsburgh offensive line, um, Miles Mason Rudolph literally still he he's charging at him. And, and when you're an NFL player who has a helmet, which is not light, it's pretty heavy. It's a pretty heavy helmet. It's, all right. Oh, when you have a helmet, when a quarterback charges at you, obviously you're going to go swing that thing in his head. Listen, Miles Garrett, you still made a fool of yourself. You still deserve that for uh, your suspension. Um, my opinion, this is just my opinion. Major Rudolph should get a year suspension too. Listen, this asshat of Mason Rudolph, he plays a he plays a terrible game. Crouched the bed. He's ter he was terrible. All right, four rubber ducky interceptions. He was he was bad. He was terrible. All right. So he throws a screen. <laughs> Game over, anyways. Miles Garrett, maybe, maybe rubs him up a little bit, but um, but Mason Rolf gets all pissy about it, and his disgruntled ass came there, and he wanted, he wanted, he wanted, he wanted Miles Garrett. So grab it, like he's grabbing him right here. You get the point. He grab. And that could, that could have done damage to Miles Garrett. One like little touch could have hurt his neck or something. And and obviously swinging at him on a player that has no helmet on could bust your head wide open. Um, it's a rare chance, but at the most perfect spot it could. So, in my opinion, both of these guys made a fool out of themselves. Um, Miles Garrett, he won't escape this for a long time. This is going to follow him for the rest of his career. But both, both Miles Garrett and Mason Rudolph should be, their seasons should be over. So, both the Browns and Steelers seasons are over. The Browns, most on this one team. Um, I jumped on a Baker Mayfield Bay Bay because I like Baker Mayfield. Um, the only reason why I love Oklahoma in the first place. <laughs> so, their season's over pretty much. I mean, Freddie Kitchens needs to go now. Um, I won't even consider getting a second chance. Steelers, your season's over. As simple as that. You're not a very good team. Your offense is terrible, and you you guys have a good defense. Just you have zero offense, and it won't change whether you have James Conner, Drew Smith, Schuster, or not. Your offense is still terrible. Mason Rudolph is not an NFL quarterback. He is trash. Trash. So both their seasons is over. There's a lot of teams that their seasons are done. Goodbye. Thank for next season. Uh, there's some. There's some good ones. The Philadelphia Eagles. What are you doing? Um, you have. How about was the Eagles supposed to dominate right now? Uh, <coughs> zero offense. Zero offense. Zero offense. Cannot score anything. Um, they should have beat the Patriots last week. Um. The Jaguars, um, you might need to reconsider starting Gardner Minshew now. Um, Nick Foles last week was bad. And Thursday night, my Indianapolis Colts about to end Houston's season. Period. I 
And we're about to end Texans season without Marlon Mack, without T.Y. Period. About to end their season still. Uh, what teams do I think of their seasons over? Um, the Chicago Bears. Uh, Mitchell Trubisky. He is terrible. This guy is. You gotta check on well, Michael should be taking care of this crap. Then I'll go get Michael. Right. I started it. Michael, he should, he should be. Ass, he should be finishing. Anyways, yeah, Mitchell Trubisky. Uh, this man has to do something, or he might just ruin the Bears. Just back the Bears up for years. Um, what are they doing? I don't know. Um, the Chargers, uh, you guys are terrible. I mean, don't get me started with the Chargers. Um, you guys have not won games. Um, the Rams, they're at a boiling point. Um, Jared Goff needs to do something. I mean, this guy is set up, and their defense has done well with the addition of Jalen Ramsey. Um, there's no excuse. Uh, you, you better make the playoffs, or I'll be – Laughing at you the hardest. So there you go. That's my latest on um, NFL news and my reactions. By the way, Texans, we're about to end your season at your at your place. We're about to end your season. Period. Thursday night, um, 8:20 p.m. In about two hours, that's where the, that's where the start of the Texans' pain and misery of zero defense. Your offensive line are a bunch of complete ineptitudes. They only got one wide receiver, no running backs, no tight ends, no nothing. We're about to end your season. Period.